guys welcome back to the mpm channel so our topic for today is solving rational equations and inequalities which is one of the topics in general mathematics okay so we're going to solve the following rational equation so sasagutin na natin ang first example natin okay to solve such rational equation okay so Ang gagawin natin is magka-cross multiply po tayo. Pag sinabing cross multiply, you're going to multiply the first numerator with the second denominator. So it will become 3 times 4x plus 3. Tapos yung second numerator sa first denominator ay magmumultiply sa isa't isa. So 5 times 2x minus 1. Okay? So, what are we going to do is we're going to multiply 3 with 4x plus 3 using the distributive property. So, it will become 12x plus 9. Kasi 3 times 4x is 12x. While 3 times 3 is equal to 9. While dito naman, 5 times 2x is equal to 10x. Tapos, 5 times negative 1 is equal to negative 5. So, isusulat na natin 10x minus 5. So, ang gagawin natin is, magta-transpose po tayo ng x sa right, from right to left. So, isusulat na natin si 10x. Then, we're going to change the sign since transposition ang ginawa natin. Tapos yung negative 5 dito, ikakapi na natin siya sa right side kasi yung right side na yan ay para sa numbers. Dapat same side si numbers. Tapos yung si mga x na yan, dapat na sa other side din na same. Na kagaya nito, yung x na yung dalawa ay nasa left side pareho, which is dapat. Tapos yung 9 na yon ililipat na natin siya sa right. So, we're going to copy 9. Since positive kanina, magiging negative. Since transposition method ang ginawa natin. Then, 12x minus 10x is 2x. Then, negative 5 minus 9 is negative 14. Dividing both sides by 2. So, magiging x na siya. Then, negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. So, ito na po ang value of x natin. Okay, next example. Okay, so same method pa rin. So cross multiply pa rin po. Okay, I'm going to draw the diagram pattern. Okay, so it will become 4 times 5x minus 9. Then 1 times 8x plus 1. Okay, so we're going to multiply this using distributive method. So this will be 20x minus 36. Tapos dito naman, same method. So, it will become 1 times 8x will be 8x. Then, 1 times 1 is 1. Okay. So, we're going to use the transposition method. i -re retain na natin si 20x sa left side. Then, we're going to transpose the 8x to the left side from the right side. So, your 8x will change its sign from positive to negative. Then, we're going to copy 1 here. Okay, since plus 1 yung kanina, magiging positive 1. Because you have not transposed this number. Then, you're, you're going to transpose the negative 36 here. So, you're going to copy the 36. So, instead maging negative siya, then it will become plus. Okay. So, 20x minus 8x is 12x. Then, 1 plus 36 will be 37. So, dividing both sides by 12. Okay. So, your x will be 37 over 12 since wala silang common factor. Hindi sila pwede ma-divide sa isa't isa. So, this shall be your answer. Or if you wanted to change it into a mixed number, okay, so... 
37 sa loob, 12 sa labas. Then 37 divided by 12 will be 3. So 3 times 12 will be 36. Then ima-minus natin sa 1. So yung remainder na yan ay magiging numerator mo. Tapos yung divisor mo ay magiging denominator. So 3 and 1 over 12 ang other answer nito. Or shall I say, equivalent fraction ng sagot. Okay, so here naman, okay. So, since you have two numbers, one on the left, one on the right, so I will suggest that group the numbers at the right side. So you're going to transpose negative 5 to the right side. So you will be definitely changing its sign. So it will become plus because you had transposed the negative 5 to the right side. Okay. Then you're going to simplify po. So it will become 14. Okay. So what are you going to do is you're going to treat it as a fraction by writing 14 over 1. So you're going to cross multiply again. Keep in mind that, for example, if you have a whole number, which is either right or left side, okay, so you're going to treat it as 14 over 1 if you want to treat it as a fraction. Okay, so 1 times 1 would be 1. Then 14 times x will become 14x. Then 14 times 4 will be 56. Then what are you going to do is... You're going to transpose 56 to the left side. Okay, so it will become negative 56, then 14x. Then using the symmetry property of inequality, you can swap both sides. So this will not change the sign because of its symmetric property. Okay, so what are you going to do is... 1 minus 56 would be negative 55. Okay, so dividing both sides by 14, okay, so your x will be negative 55 over 14. Then you're going to convert it into mixed fraction. Okay, so the closest quotient will be 3. So 14 times 3 will become 42. So you're going to subtract it, then it shall be 13. Since 13 is your remainder, 13 will be the numerator and the divisor will be your denominator. Or negative 3, 13 over 14. So this is the answer for your equation. Okay, so this time we're going to solve the rational inequalities. Okay, so first step. Find the possible values of x. So x plus 6 equals 0. So it will become x is equal to negative 6. x minus 2 is equal to 0. So it will become x equals 2. Okay. Now, you have the critical points. Okay. You need to consider the critical intervals. So it will become... negative infinity and negative 6 kasi si negative 6 yan ang lowest value mo you have to consider the values which are lower than negative 6 so values of x then intervals so ba ano bakit tayo mag interval to test the if it is valid or not diba? then what are we going to do is we need to consider the values between negative 6 and 2 so or negative 6 is less than x is less than 2 then 2 then positive infinity or x is greater than 2 okay 
So now we're going to do the step three. Okay. Why did we jump to the value of x at once? It's all because zero ang katapat nito. Okay. So now we're going to do the step three. So we're going to formulate the table. Okay. So negative infinity then six, then negative six and two, then two, then positive infinity. Okay. So what are you? Oops. So what are you going to do here is okay. We need to consider the values that is less than negative six. So I pick negative seven. So we're going to substitute. Okay, interval. Then let's say test value. So I'm going to give my test value. So negative seven, zero, and three. Then the sign. Okay, so we're going to test here. Okay, so negative 7 plus 6, then negative 7 minus 2. So negative 7 plus 6 will become negative 1, then negative 7 minus 2 will become negative 9. So it will become positive 1 over 9. So this shall be positive. Okay, so how about 0? 0 plus 6, then 0 minus 2 is zero, 6, then negative 2, so it will become negative 3. So since this is a negative value, then it will become minus. It will become negative. Then 3 plus 6, then 3 minus 2. So 3 plus 6 is 9, then 3 minus 2 is 1. So it will become positive 9, so it will become plus. Okay, so based on this sign, okay, so if it's negative, this satisfies. Okay, so this applies to less than zero, while positive is greater than zero, while positive is greater than zero. So it means to say that the answer is negative six and two under the open interval. Or negative six is less than x is less than two. So why is this the answer? Because if we use any value that is between negative 6 and 2, ang ikakalabas dyan ay negative. Kailangan maging negative tong value na to after the substitution. So, it would satisfy kasi less than 0 ito eh. So, here is the final answer. Okay, so next question. So this time around, okay, so the inequality is greater than or equal to. Okay, so step one, you're going to find the values of x. So it will become x equals 5. Then for x plus 7 is equal to 0, then your x will become negative 7 over 4. Then your step two is to identify the possible interval cases. So, again, negative infinity, then negative 7 over 4, then negative 7 over 4, then 5, then 5, then positive infinity. So, you're going to construct the table wherein you're going to use the test. So you are meant to test which interval satisfies this inequality. So I'm going to give a number that is below negative 7 over 4. So shall I give negative 2? Then here, it would be 0 because it is between a negative value and a positive value. Tapos yung 5 then positive infinity, I'm going to give 6. Okay, test value lang naman siya. 
then what are you going to do is you're going to substitute each of it. So shall I say solution? Okay, so negative 2 minus 5 then 4 times negative 2 plus 7. So it will become negative 7 then negative 8 plus 7. So it will become negative 7 then minus 1 it will become positive 7. Okay, so I'm going to create another column. Okay, para maging specific. So it will become positive. Then here naman, 0 minus 5, then 4 times 0 plus 7. So 0 minus 5 is negative 5, then 4 times 0 is 0 plus 7. So it will become negative 5 over 7. So since this is a negative value, then it is minus. Okay, how about 6? Okay, so 6 minus 5, then 4 times 6 plus 7. So this will be 1. Then 24 plus 7. So this will become 1 over 31. So since this is a positive value, dahil wala siyang negative sign, this will become positive. Okay, so we will use 5 here kasi equal, equal, siya, equal din siya sa 0 eh. So 5 minus 5, then 4 times 5 plus 7. Oops. So this will be 0 over 20 plus 7. So since 0 is your numerator, your answer will be automatically 0. Okay, so since we're going to base on the signs na nagsasatisfy dito sa inequality. Okay, if it's positive, then it is greater than 0. Then if it's negative, this will be less than 0. If it's positive, this will be greater than 0. So, therefore, this satisfies. So, your answer is negative infinity, then negative 7 over 4. You're going to write the union. Ibig sabihin, kasama, magkasama. So, it will become... Bakit close interval si 5? Kasi equal siya sa 0. So, 5, then positive infinity. Or, x is less than negative 7 over 4. And, x is greater than or equal to 5. Okay? So, here is the final answer. Okay, so next item po. So, this one. Okay, same step again. Step one. Your x plus 9 is equal to 0, so it will become x equals negative 9. Then x minus 4 equals 0. You, then your x will become 4. Then your x minus 8, if will become 0, then your x is equal to 8. Okay, then your step 2 is you're going to create an interval. Negative infinity, then negative 9. Then negative 9, then 4. Then 4, then 8, then 8 with positive infinity. Okay, so your step three, okay, so you're going to create a table. Okay, so this time I want to make a shortcut. So this will not be complicated. I created four rows. Okay, so identify your test value. So it will become negative 10. Then this one will be 0. Well, this one will be 5 and this one will be 9. Okay, so your solution, okay. So it, so... I have an alternate way of showing the solution. So, negative 10 plus 9 is a negative value. 
then negative 10 minus bar is a negative value. Then negative 10 minus 8 is a negative value. So what will happen is positive over negative is equal to negative. Then how about here? So 0. Okay, 0 plus 9 will be a positive value. Then 0 minus 4 will be a negative value. Then 0 minus 8 will become a negative value. So positive times negative is negative over negative, so it will become positive. Then here, so 5 plus 9 will be 14, so it will become a positive value. Then 5 minus 4 will be a positive value. Then 5 minus 8 will become a negative value. So positive over negative is equal to minus. So this is my alternate solution to identify if whether the interval satisfies this inequality or not. Okay, so 9 plus 9 is positive 18, a positive value. Then 9 minus 4 is 5, a positive value. Then 9 minus 8 is 1, a positive value. So positive over positive is equal to positive. Okay, so since we need to identify the signs which is greater than zero, so malamang positive. So this satisfied. So the answer is negative nine and four, then eight, then positive infinity. Okay. Or negative nine is less than x is less than four, then x is greater than eight. So here is the final answer for this inequality. Okay. So, last but not the least problem, okay, here. So, before we end, allow me to solve this inequality. Okay, so before we proceed to step one, step two, step three, we need to simplify this para maging zero si right side. So, x plus one over x minus four plus two, itatra ita transpose na natin sa kabila is less than or equal to zero, then what are we going to do is we're going to solve this by changing this one in proper fraction. Kailangan maging fraction form din siya. Bakit ganito? Kasi yan si 2 ay whole number. Tapos kailangan yung denominator nyo, it should be x minus 4. Tapos yung numerator na rin ay magiging x minus 4 rin dito as one of the factors. So, bale parang i-reverse na natin from 2 to this fraction. 2 simplify for the similar fraction. Okay, so what are we going to do is we're going to simplify the rational expression. So, 2 times x is 2x, then 2 times 4 is 8. Kaya lang may sign dito na negative, kaya minus. Then x minus 4, then is less than or equal to 0 na. So magsisimplify na tayo. So 3x minus 7, then x minus 4, then less than or equal to 0. So I will provide the space as much as I can. So yung step 1 natin is x minus 4 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 4, then 3x minus 7 is equal to 0, then your x is equal to 7 over 3. So these are the values of x na pwede i-test sa interval. Then your step 2 is, since this is the lower value, so negative infinity, then 7 over 3, then values between 7 over 3 and 4, and 4, and positive infinity. So let me recall this interval. So this will become x is less than 7 over 3. Then 7 over 3 is less than x is less than 4. Then x is greater than 4. Then your step 3 is you're going to create a table again. So your interval. Okay, gagawa ko ng table ulit. So my apologies if my lines are so crooked. Okay, so your x is 
less than 7 over 3. So I'm going to write the first interval here. Then 7 over 3 and 4. And 4 and positive infinity. So you're going to make a test value. So positive values pareho ang values of x. So I wanted 0. Then how about here? So shall I use 3? Kasi 7 over 3 is 2 and 1 third. Okay. So I'm going to write it here. So since 3 is greater than 2 and 1 third, and 3 is less than 4. Then we need to consider values that are greater than 4. So I choose 5. Okay. So I'm going to write a solution. Sign of value. So what are we going to do? So since um, 0 times 3 is 0, then minus 7, so it's negative. Then 0 minus 4 is a negative value, so it will become positive. Then let's say 3. So 3 times 3 minus 7, so it will become Nine minus seven, then three minus four is negative one. So two over negative one is a negative value. Dahil negative two ang sagot natin dito, so it will become negative sa baba, tapos positive sa taas. So positive divided by negative is negative. Then three times five minus 7, then 5 minus 4. So it will become 15 minus 7, then 5 minus 4 is 1, so 8 over 1. So it means to say positive over positive is equal to positive. Okay, so 3 times 0 minus 7 over 0 minus 4. So 0 minus 7 over minus 4, so it will become negative 7 over minus 4, so it will become 7, 4. Okay, so Dahil dyan, less than 0 siya, kailangan negative ang sagot natin dito para makapasok siya dito. So, the answer is, close bracket dahil may equal siya, 7 over 3, then 4. Or, negative, uh, seven, positive 7 over 3 is less than or equal to x is less than 4. So, that is our answer for this inequality. So, why is it close bracket for the 7 third? Kasi, if we substitute here, 7 third times 3 minus 7 over 7 third minus 4. So, it will become 7 minus 7, then 7 third minus 4. If we subtract here, which is the new numerator, okay, so automatically this will become zero. Equal pa naman siya sa zero. So can you try substituting here this? So 7 third plus 1, then 7 third minus 4. So this will become... 10 thirds, then this will become negative 5 thirds. I explain ko sa inyo bakit. Pag sinabing 7 third plus 1, this will become 7 third plus 3 over 3, so it will become 10 over 3. While 7 over 3 minus 4 is 7 third minus 12 over 3 is negative 5 thirds. Okay, so canceling this, so 10 divided by negative 5 is 2. Okay, so do not forget to subscribe the MTM channel and stay tuned for more mathematical videos. So God bless, happy learning, and stay safe. Thank you.